One of the busiest stretches of I-70 in Colorado closed for hours after a high-speed chase. The suspected carjacker wound up dead. That car was taken by gunpoint in Strasburg, about 40 miles east of Denver. Once deputies spotted the car on I-70, speeds reached over 100 miles an hour. The chase ended at I-70 in Washington near the mousetrap. Mackenzie O'Keefe live with breaking developments tonight. Mackenzie, part of I-70 just reopened a few minutes ago. That's right. Denver police said two lanes westbound along I-70 have just reopened. We're here off I-70 near the Denver Coliseum. This is where I-70 was closed today for hours. That's because police were investigating a situation that they said was very dangerous to our community. Cars backed up for miles along I-70 as the Arapahoe County Sheriff's Office cornered an armed suspect in this white car. This all started 40 miles east as an armed carjacking outside of a liquor store in the town of Strasburg. This uh, victim of ours uh, went out to his car to retrieve some items and uh, was confronted by this man who demanded his wallet and keys. On their way to the call, a sheriff's deputy saw the stolen vehicle on I-70. And that's when the chase began. At times, the, the pursuit did reach uh, speeds in excess of 100 miles an hour. Uh, however, it did slow down once, uh, once everyone got into, uh, in, in towards the city. In traffic, deputies were able to stop the suspect on I-70 near the Washington exit. Evan Dupree works nearby and heard it all. You could hear him say, get out of the car, driver, get out of the car, driver, put your hands up. You can see deputies surrounding the stolen car, guns drawn. And then we heard a couple of gunshots. Probably like four or five. Not gunshots, but less lethal rounds of bean bags and pepper balls. But officers say when they approached the car and smashed out the window, they found the armed suspect had shot himself. A dangerous situation from the start that investigators say put our communities at risk. This was dangerous. Uh, we needed to find this person and get him stopped before he was uh, perhaps able to do something else to another citizen. Now, Denver police said that that suspect did later die at the hospital. The victim of that carjacking was not injured during this. Uh, the Rapa County Sheriff's Department or deputies say that they were thankful for Denver's help here within the city limits. Now, again, two lanes are open westbound here along I-70, but still do anticipate some traffic delays. We're live here in Denver. Mackenzie O'Keefe covering Colorado first. All right, Mackenzie, thank you.